control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer on Scorched Earth map, and I'm using the balance iteration 3.4 for most of my maps. I've cleaned up my uh, official map and um, custom map pool, so, um, you know, I've got all the latest versions of my favourite maps and stuff. Got rid of a load of older, out-of-date maps. But we're in the oil capture phase. Let's just see if I went engineer first. Yeah, it looks like it. My opponent didn't. He's got a couple of rifles, which is the smart choice. <clears throat> but at the soonest, I could probably be about here with a rifleman on his own. Um, I wonder, could his rifle... You know, his rifleman could have killed my engineer if they'd have gone straight for it. So he is right to have rifles going first. At least one, you know. So I think it, pushing it, it, he could have made it and sniped my engineer because that was quite a lazy way to escort the engineer. But I've sent these rifles myself to try and head off the engineer on his way to this oil derrick. But the enemy engineer is busy over here. I should have sent this guy this way, obviously. He's been taken out, but he is still escorting him with this rifle anyway. Yeah, it's caught my rifles out. Um, I'm just heading for my second oil derrick now. Two um, refineries each. Standard build orders so far. My opponent's capturing his second oil, Derek. I've just captured mine. I sent a couple of rifles to investigate, but this is defended for the moment. I should really have sent a rifle by now to investigate the hospital, see if the enemy's moved forward to take it. I am sending some rifles on some scouting missions, but I haven't moved for the centre yet. I should have done by now. Started to train rocket troops. My opponent's got his war factory placed. There's mine. Yeah, he's a few seconds ahead. Let's just have a look at early army values. 5,000 to my opponent, just turned to 5,000 to me. And my opponent went for a flak truck. I've just got my APC built. And my opponent did send a rifle to investigate my base, but I was... I had some rifles set up waiting. And I've checked the centre, I've seen that the enemy hasn't taken it. I'm a thousand in army value behind now. My opponent's setting up his expansion. I've been I'm delayed for some reason. I'm capturing the centre, going for the hospital. I'm still a thousand in army value behind. Yeah, my MCV's a lot later, but his build, he hasn't... Where's his service depot? He's moved out his home base, that's why the timing... I'm not delayed, he's using a slightly altered build order, he's got a radar dome now, so he's going for a yeah, different, very different build order. I've set up my rifle guards there, look. And 
I've started setting them up so that there's at least two like this look, so that if the enemy approach from here with a flanking force, they'll take out a rifleman, and then if they continue on the same approach, they'll take this one out, and it'll tell me, you know, how long it took them to get there, give me a fair idea that they're still on the way. Um, but it's also two chances of you being hearing their approach because you can miss a rifleman if the enemy sends a flanking force while there's an engagement going on you won't hear a single rifleman look you see I'll have uh, just heard there'd have been a few shots from that he's on move command that's why he's not firing back but it's very easy to miss those few bursts from a single rifleman very easy to miss it look there's probably been no reaction from me look and there's things like this going on, and so there are distractions, but he's, I've got rifles set up there, look, because I'm expecting these rocket drops. So I'm uh, trying to shift command the rocket troops, look, with my rifles as best I can while I'm hurrying. But he's got four auto ups there, he's done nicely. But I've brought my APC and I'm going to shift cue these two rocket troops, get rid of them, and that's the threat dealt with. Um, and there is another rocket drop here, look. Um, this APC just managed to escape, but he's leaving these guys yet to wait for my ore trucks, who have now been transferred from where he attacked the first time here to here, and that's where he's attacking now, so that's perfect. Um, yeah, I'm training grenadiers. Trying to. Let's just have a look at the economy situation. That's okay. Um, and the army value is 16, 17,000 to me, 19,000 to my opponent. Now he's sent a small force to attack here, and then he's left a small contingent there. Just a small group to make it think, make me think that he's here. Now he's got two, and as I uh, keep my forces here, I'll react to his attack. Then he's attacking elsewhere, look. He's got two other attack forces, and I'm reacting to what he's shown me here, and that's when he attacks at the back. But luckily, I've got forces waiting for him, and I'm ready for this sort of thing. So uh, these guys are in trouble, thankfully. I should be getting that tank there. Yeah, there you go. That was good timing. So I am aware of what's going on, and that was really nicely done from my opponent. He just sort of triggered a response over here with an attack, moved away and left a few units there and then I responded straight into what he wanted me to and uh, that's when he attacked down here luckily I had units on their way from that direction that was lucky plus I had units protecting here I'd got my primary production away from where my army is but that destroyed my grenadier drop lock he ran straight into a load of lightning bolts and that was the end of that um, but I did see it and I thought, right, I'm in trouble, I've got these, uh, his tech army, I've got 20,000, my opponent's got 18, but I wasn't aware, and I thought, right, I'm salvaging what assets I can, abandoning this, and I'm setting up over here, and attacking. I thought, I'll, because this is actually the third game, and the first two games went extremely badly. Uh, they were very rough, they were my first two games of the day, this is my third game of the day. And um, so I've suffered, um, you know, a couple of severe losses. You know, it was all one, very one-sided. So this is why I'm using this extreme sort of strategy, because I'm just trying to do try something different. Because I've figured out that he's a better player than me by this point, so that's why I'm doing this. And he's used his Iron Curtain, and he's got one vehicle and one structure with the Iron Curtain. Now that's distracting my attacks. That, um, uh, but I'm not really aware of it. It's when I move forward, look. That's when I'm avoiding this. And it was an APC for crushing, but now it's not on the Iron Curtain. I've overrun his units. And that's, uh, you know, so that was effective, that attack. He's still mining, but I thought, now I know he's got the Iron Curtain and that, and I bump right into it, I want to destroy it. But he's got this force here, and he's destroying more of my ore trucks. And I've got this force, but i am probably got my hands full here, look. I'm ordering these to attack there. These guys destroying the construction yard now. So I've destroyed the Iron Curtain and one or two other things. Now I've destroyed the construction yard. That's good. And this attack force is moving in. He's probably not expecting that. 
Look, he's probably not expecting a decent force, but I'm in trouble because those uh, Tesla troopers are lethal. And um, there, I've got my war factory, it's just producing a tank, but I've stopped my troops at least, and my war uh, construction yard's trying to escape. They look just. But I've got a tank, now these guys should have stayed where they were. That's good, but the tank should be in front, because look, he's just electrocuted them all. And now I'm distracted over there. And uh, it's given him time to prepare a defence. Oh, look, that was a, a going for a crush. And there you go, my forces were just reduced to nothing all of a sudden. Because it was being attacked from all around. So there you go, that's what happens. And now I haven't got the advantage in army. I'm at 6,000, my opponent's at 13. That's really been a, uh, a, bad, a bad battle, that one. A bad skirmish. So um, I've got this force, which is like six grand, not quite even seven, but I've got, th I thought, three th thieves would be useful because, look, I've got no money. And um, I know I've swept away the enemy's defences here, and my opponent's got nearly eight grand. I've got no money, so I sent these three thieves uh, as the first infiltration, and I had no money, and my opponent had seven grand. Now I've got five grand, my opponent's got less than two, so that's uh, turned the uh, a cash situation around nicely but he did sell up before I got the full all three in I may have even been one or two it may not have even been two I'm not sure but um, it did enough to uh, switch that up and he uh, got my construction yard I couldn't escape it was just they're lethal I shouldn't have even packed it up I should probably have sent them instead but my force here bumped into a, a small group of units on the way to attack and I thought well I've got them perfect so I destroyed them and uh, I see he's still dealing with this. Now, I sacrificed that ages ago, so it has kind of kept this force out of the battle for a long time. Yeah, it did defeat all this, it's done its job, but it did enable me to stay in the game as well <clears throat> by sacrificing that that expansion. I've got 10,000, my opponent's at 20,000, and I've lost my newest expansion up here, these Tesla tanks. I love those Tesla tanks, they're really good, but, you know, they're harsh to have to deal with. Well, here's my th uh, thief, he's moving in, and I knew these were gone, but I'm hoping for another target. And um, my main army's moving in. I'm at 13,000, my opponent's at 22. And it looks like oh, I could do with my tanks in front. Those APCs have done some nice crushes, very nice. If the tanks were in front, it would have been a very different matter. That was a shame, that. Finally got my tanks in front, but more APCs arrive. Yeah, that was a shame. And the Tesla uh, tanks are following my helpless ore trucks. So vulnerable. And these forces are having to try and retreat and secure this, because uh, I've lost everything below it. I've still got my radar dome. It is some asset. Uh, that's a useful asset. Um, very little money. Uh, my opponent's got nearly a few grand, but I've got <laughs> I've got two oil trucks left. One oil derrick still alive, so I am holding on to this, reduced to the last um, assets, fighting for my very last assets. And here we go. This is the uh, my MTV's escaping. I'm going to set up a base while these guys hold up the enemy doing their duty to buy time for their comrades but it's over they can only hold on for so long and that's <clears throat> the end of that I thought well I may as well sell some of it before it um, gets wiped out in this situation it was starting to get destroyed vlog it you won't get a lot anyway but it's something and the enemy won't get the kill bounty or the veteran unit status by killing such a high value structure. At least take that away. <clears throat> but um I'm guess I've I'm guessing I've started again, yeah, with my production. So um uh, yeah, no army value. My opponent's got a twenty four thousand value army. But that guy missed me. But there isn't any point going on. I thought, yeah, he might not find me for for a while. I might build up a few infantry or something, or maybe get a war factory placed. But I ended it there because I thought, why, um, you know, draw it out and 
you know, for nothing. It was over. It was. I um, I enjoyed that game, and I thought I'd call it there. It was a good game. And that was the third of three, like I say. The first two went far worse than this. So um, I thought I'd post this one, and then I'm going to add a second game onto this one once I've gone through the army graphs and charts. But um, there's the army graph. Yeah, through... Uh, because of the, during combat, I did have a, a larger army size at one point. Yeah, I should have been a bit more aware and uh, broken it up, made a bit more use of it, sent a few small groups on eco raids while the main group still did what I did. Just uh, you know, a few there were a few errors in there that spoiled it for me. But there's the army graph. That's all right. Look, you know, that was a fight, and it shows it. And I did gain, regain some strength after suffering massive losses, but it wasn't enough. Those Tesla units are lethal. Here's my earnings graph. Look, it's all over the place. That's not a good sign. My opponent's is more stable. And here's my opponent's finishing army, a few Tesla tanks and t some tanks, troops and that. Combat chart. I killed 203. My opponent killed 262. Could have been far worse than that from what happened. I did lose 25 structures, though, and my opponent only lost 5, so that's not good. And I destroyed 52,000 in value. My opponent destroyed 87,000 in value. Uh, no support powers in effect. He's still producing, although it's uh, APC and rifles. Is not <clears throat> Maybe he's just placed a structure, I don't know. But actually... No, he hasn't got... I didn't realise, and I still only just have realised about his construction yard. I've only just realised he hasn't got one. That's why he's not building. Right, interesting. That's great, that. That's a really good sign that I've just realised. Very... very <laughs> that's a great sign. But here's the economy chart. Um, I earn... 86,000, my opponent earned 94 for such an unstable uh, economy graph. It was, uh, it's an earn, I've earned a fair amount. Um, my opponent's got four oil trucks left. He's still got his two oil derricks. I should have destroyed them. Basics, I've got 27 actions per minute. My opponent's at 63 actions per minute, so he's giving an order more than once a second. And there you go, there's the stats and graphs and charts. I'll uh, I'll go to the second game that I wanted to wanted to add on. Battle control. Um because so I thought I'd may as well make it uh, part of this post because like I say, that was the first game control. and this was my last game that I've played. I mean that was my third game of the day, and this is my last game of the day. So I thought, oh well, um why not post it with it? Um and um do post them as one, well. why not? But this is on Desert Rats map. And I'm using Russia. My opponent's using England. We were both using Russia in that last game, I think. I could be wrong, but I should have... Uh, I'm sure I should have said anyway. But on this one, my opponent chooses this map and he sets it so that the engineers are not reusable. And um, it's, you know, it's just something different. I don't mind it. And so I join this anyway. If I don't like it, I don't have to join it, do I? So I thought I'd join this and have another game on, on here. Um, see if I've adapted to the situation because it's, um, it is different to usual. It's a smaller map. It's 70 by 70 something, I think, by 70 something. So uh, it's a small, small, medium to small map. Um, but I do like it. The terrain, it's close fought battles and ambush points and all sorts. And you can't help but bump into your enemy. On a map like this, it's it's a good map. I do like it, and I like the setup. And the engineers not being reusable um, is another different element that changes things up a bit. So I don't mind it, but I'm used to what my opponent's game plan is, and he wants to capture four oil derricks and hold them. He's as from what I've seen, he's more um, he he's more he puts more value on these central oil derricks than he does the outside ore patches, whereas I would happily burn them down and keep that, you know, quite happily get rid of those two. Um, I'm not so eager to do four, but in this game, I thought I've got to at least capture three to match my opponent because that's his game plan. So I can't just not do anything about it. There goes his dead engineer. Got rid of that, so that was handy. It gave me a veteran. And I thought, well, I'm not that bothered about securing three or four, 
but if my opponent is then it's probably a good idea to interrupt their game plan a bit and i've not captured this look i just prevented my opponent from capturing it that's all so uh, at least do that i thought and then um, i was mindful of having to get my infantry back before a scout vehicle started wiping them out but that's that's exactly what they're doing now look and uh, that's why my rocket launcher troops are going to meet them so that's exactly what was going through my mind at that moment. And my opponent's got the middle guarded, and he has taken three... No, he's taken two oil derricks, but he's got his third about to be captured. Now, we've both got two refineries, but I've got my war factory placed. Let's see, my opponent's a few seconds away from placing his. So I wonder where he'll place it. He doesn't need it here to help with the eco-mining. I would have put it um, here... You know, uh, so when I place the next refinery, the ore, ore fa the war factory lets the ore trucks roll out straight onto the ore patch here. So you'd have a war factory and the refinery next to this ore patch, and it helps uh, mine it a bit quicker. Because you're mining fairly quickly, you've got two ore trucks at least, and two refineries on the first patch. But the second patch, a war factory and a single refinery, that means you're going to have a few ore trucks on it fairly quickly. And uh, that turns it into a nice source, a second rapid source of income, rather than just having a single refinery next to it and waiting for the ore trucks to drive to it when you choose to. But my APC couldn't escape, as uh, I couldn't get away from them. I, I was, like, too reckless with it. I thought, I've got the advantage on my opponent. He's falling back and pursued him, but I let my APC get too far ahead. And my opponent will have the view range advantage from this, so I've got to watch it. When he turns up to attack, I have to defend myself. There you go, look, luckily I just let the last shots fly. And I thought I could take out those vehicles, that would be important. And the veteran died last. Last man standing. Um, oh yeah, he's got more troops moving out. He used these uh, troops that were guarding the centre for that attack as well. So I've got three oil derricks. My opponent has two. Now, I think in the past, when I altered his game plan and interrupted it so he couldn't hold the two central ones and these two, because it gives him a two-to-one advantage in oil derricks um, over his opponent, which is a fair plan. You can settle down for the long game and take make, uh, take advantage of that uh, bonus in uh, long-term credit income. But uh, when I interrupted that and destroyed his uh, oil derricks in the centre, it caused him to expand straight down here. So he reacted immediately and did what he needed to. It was a good sign, you know, in terms of it's a good player that would do that, because he adapted immediately, but... Um, like I wouldn't place as much value on these two central oil derricks. <clears throat> I uh, go for the ore patches first. You can capture these later and secure them when you're certain of holding them. Or you can just destroy them, whatever. But I placed a refinery and thought I'm carrying on, I'm moving out again. And my opponent's building his radar dome and I'm building a refinery straight away. And my opponent's attacking my central oil derrick. So my 3 to 2 advantage is gone. Now he's in between two forces. I didn't know what he was going to do, but he's actually attacking. So I thought, oh dear, I need tanks in screening positions now. But he's, uh, I thought, I best get that back. Losing an ore truck, that's a shame. I shouldn't have let that happen. But I was trying to get a tank up front to screen these troops. That's what I, the important thing I was trying to do first. But then when I saw him fall back, I thought, right, overrun, just do an attack move. And then I found that, bumped into that. So he's probably fumbling to get that out of there. And I thought, well, in this case, I'm going to continue the attack move. And any units that are moving up now are going to be destroyed piecemeal. So he's finally made the right choice of falling back. And he needs to set his rally points right as well. But yeah, he's, that's right. And I knew my units here would spot where the MCV was going. So, um, my tanks, I should have ordered them over here. Yeah, look, they're not going to catch him like that. They're way behind him. I didn't know, obviously. I couldn't see him. Um, this is my point of view, so I don't know where he is. He could still be here for all I know, hiding or behind here, but 
I'm, I lost him, put it that way, you can see he's long gone. And these guys are out of the battle now, idle. So I, I thought I can't leave them or send them back to my base and that would have been a total waste of time coming down here. Um, so I thought, right, I'm going to take out these two oil derricks at the back and attack. So let's have a look at the army values at this crucial moment. 5,000, 6,000 to my opponent, 16,000 to me. Well, that's not a good sign for my opponent. That's not very good at all. Now, I've got my two tanks here. They're going to start attacking the oil derrick. And it's because my opponent has invested in tech so early. He's got a helipad. He's building helicopters. He's got artillery. Um, he's got a radar dome. Yeah, he's built helicopters. So he's investing in these expensive assets before he's got a standard army to screen them. There goes one helicopter, and it killed a few troops on its way down. These artillery need to fall back. It's a shame to lose them like that. Oh, yeah, they are doing some nice work, though. You get another shot off, lovely, and now there's another one. That needs to shoot these troops. I understand him wanting to kill the tanks, though. I don't actually blame him there, to be fair. Oh, that was a veteran, and he's damaging his own... There you go, he's called it. I've destroyed both oil derricks, but he's called it there. And I don't blame him, I had broken through, and let's check. Yeah, you've, he had some cash, but yeah, I don't blame him for calling it there, to be, to be honest. Um, yeah, he, he'd expanded up here though, but I was about to hit this expansion. Um, I'm already rebuilding troops. I've got tech of my own, just I've got an extremely solid army in front of it as well. So, uh, I've just produced V2 there, look. And I've got an airfield. I'm building an aircraft by the looks of that. We'll have a look at the production in a minute. But there's the army graph. Um, right. Well... I've obviously suffered some losses there in the early game. And um, here we've intersected and I've carried on climbing in army value. It's like five and a half minutes and my opponent has taken losses there. But he did have a spike in army value towards the end. And at the eight minute mark he had a, a respectable size army. That's probably when it was nine or ten or whatever it reached to. But there's the army graph for you. You can see better when it's on the dark background look. The green is my opponent's, there's his army graph. Um, earnings graph, my opponent matched my earnings pretty much spot on. In fact, he overtook the earnings there at that point. Yeah, so around the six minute mark, he was uh, earning quite a lot. I did overtake him only just at the end. So yeah, we both did okay for earnings, but it looks like my opponent slightly had the edge until his decline after eight minutes. Um, it was a steady decline, not a rapid drop, so, you know, it wasn't over quickly. He was still uh, mining luck. He had all these ore trucks here. So there's the earnings graph, army, army uh, tab. Um, I've got, there's my first V2s rolled out. I've got a few tanks. There's three, four, five, seven of them I've got with these two because they destroyed both oil derricks. It's important to do that because it's part of my opponent's strategy. Those oil derricks are important to him, so they absolutely have to be taken out. If That may have been a f an, imp an important factor to him in surrendering. Um, but I just had that inkling and game sense that it was absolutely essential to destroy them without investing anything. I don't want to lose anything myself doing it. I thought, just get a couple of tanks to drive by and wipe them out. Don't lose anything in the process. But it should hopefully be a an effective tactic, I thought. I thought it would work and help win the game, put it that way. Here's the combat chart. Um, my opponent killed 72 units, I killed 82 units, so it was a close battle in kills. Um, my opponent has only lost two structures, I haven't lost any. Uh, and a 15,000 army value at the end. My opponent destroyed 11,000 of my assets. I destroyed 20,000 of my opponent's assets, so it's not bad. It's a decent decent game, and I do have support powers counting down because I've got the airfield look. Um, production, I'm actually building my tech center because I do. I am aware my opponent goes tech very early. He's always got artillery and stuff like that, so I wanted to tech up early myself, but in a stable way where I've got a solid army first. 
So then I thought I could match my opponent's tech advantage and I've got a better army to make proper use of it. That was my thinking behind it in conjunction with targeting the oil derrick system and taking them out. That was uh, also an important objective. But uh, the economy tab, I spent 54,000, my opponent spent 48, so it was close in what we spent. I've still got two oil derricks left and some cash. Here's a basic chart. I got 29 actions per minute. I'm working at my opponents at 46 actions actions per minute. So he's far uh, giving orders far more quickly than me. Well, that's about it. There's the basic tab for you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video um, with both games. Um, uh, if you like what you saw, give us a sub and a like. And until next time, take good care of yourselves. And for now, um, goodbye. Battle control terminated.